Hollywood Frozen Meg out. Meg brutally called out for nasty plot to become Gwyneth Paltrow 2.0. Meghan Markle wanted to be the next Gwyneth Paltrow before she met Prince Harry, royal biographer Tina Brown has claimed in her book. Ms. Brown has been making some revelations about the members of the royal family in her latest book The Palace Papers. From the serious, Prince Philip's feeling at Princess Diana's funeral, to the fun, the karaoke Kate Middleton sang on her hen night, the readers have been getting some insight from the royal family. While writing about Meghan Markle's pre-royal life, Ms. Brown gave a sneak peek about her ambitions. During filming of her hit Netflix show Suits, Ms. Brown wrote of the Duchess of Sussex, she often was still on set at 4 a.m. She spent the downtime furiously updating the TIG, which she was convinced, not without reason, could emulate the success of Goop, Gwyneth Paltrow's canny second act creation of a pampering and wellness e-commerce site, with its $550, 437 pounds, healing quartz necklaces and $66.52 pounds, yoni eggs for enhanced orgasms. Megan was always talking about Goop, one of the suits team told me. In April 2017, Megan shut down her beloved lifestyle website, writing, After close to three beautiful years on this adventure with you, it's time to say goodbye to the TIG. What began as a passion project, my little engine that could, evolved into an amazing community of inspiration, support, fun and frivolity. You've made my days brighter and filled this experience with so much joy. Keep finding those TIG moments of discovery, keep laughing and taking risks, and keep being the change you wish to see in the world. She concluded her goodbye message, above all, don't ever forget your worth, as I've told you time and time again, you, my sweet friend, you are enough. Thank you for everything. Speaking to the Telegraph, Mrs. Brown said the pair can't stop creating dramatic scenes wherever they go, claiming they appeared to be addicted to drama. She also warned the Duke has been completely and utterly taken over by Meghan and his whole personality has changed. She added, I do question how it will end. Maybe, he'll wake up and realize he's living in goop and he has to get the hell out, go down the pub and see his friends. She said one example was the couple's Oprah interview where they unleashed a string of bombshell claims. But the royal expert pointed out tell-all interviews rarely ended well. She said, it's actually amazing how each time one of the royals does one of these big sit-down interviews, it's a catastrophe. Every time it's like a nuclear bomb. The Oprah interview was desperately damaging to any relationship that Harry could ever hope to have with his family. Many royal fan commented on this news. One said, the woman has been copying, borrowing, and using everybody's ideas, website language, speeches, etc. her entire life. One fan commented, I cannot think anyone is surprised that Meghan copied Gwyneth Paltrow's gloop who she set up the TIG. Firstly, she isn't T capable of original ideas. Everything she has done has been copies or plagiarized. Secondly, she heard Gwyneth was getting freebies from top fashion houses and as we have seen, Meghan does love luxury freebies. One more added, so even the TIG thing was copied from someone else. Royal expert Daniela Elza said, before Harry came along, Meghan had never appeared on a glossy magazine cover, never had star billing anywhere and had, according to the 2020 biography Finding Freedom, resorted to occasionally set up a paparazzi photo here and there or let info slip out to the press. All of that changed the minute the news broke that she was dating perhaps the most eligible bloke in the world. Then came the Sussexes all too brief royal chapter, followed by their freedom years. The only thing that Meghan has done that has really shaken the zeitgeist in the last two years has been the Oprah Winfrey interview during which she talked about the royal family. Separate Meghan from her Windsor ties and the question becomes, does anyone really care?